My name's Angelo, and welcome to We Want Picks. Every single week, we break down full UFC fight cards. We give you our picks, our bets, and our fantasy plays. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content. And we're also giving away $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets, signs up with one of our five betting partners, and makes a deposit will get $50 from us. Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, however you want it. And this is brought to you by EarnU.io. EarnU.io is the world's first sports and esports prediction game, allowing you to earn crypto risk-free. Check it out now at EarnU.io. Next up, at UFC Vegas 55, we have Chidi Injikawani taking on Dusko Todorovic. Chidi Injikawani is 21-7 and overall, Three and two in his last five, and he's coming off three stoppages in a row. Dusko Todorovic, 11 and two overall, three and two in his last five, coming off a bounce back win over Maki Pitolo. GD Njikawani is a very good striker with speed, power, and solid distance control. He's not a high volume guy, but he sticks and moves really well. His feet are never in the same place for very long, and people have a really hard time getting to him. If you're able to get inside the reach and work your way to his legs, you can have some success with takedowns in grappling, but I cannot stress enough how powerful he, he really is and how hard this guy hits. And Dusko Todorovic is a pretty well-rounded guy. He's a technical striker with power, and he has takedowns with solid BJJ offense that just sort of round him out. His last fight against Maki Patola was a perfect showcase. Dusko, of, of his well-roundedness, he doubled Maki's strikes, got a takedown, and then ultimately finished him. He's a high-volume guy with almost six significant strikes per minute, but there are definitely questions about his chin, which will be answered in this fight. Both of these guys are well-rounded, but Dusko definitely goes to his wrestling and is grappling more often than Chidi does. And in fact, we've, we've literally never seen Chidi work a takedown in the UFC but we have just seen him defend a bunch, and he's got a solid 78% takedown defense. Insane power in his hands. I really like him in this fight. So Chidi is the pick for me, and an inside-the-distance bet is probably the bet to make because I, I, Dusko's got a questionable chin. Chidi hits like a truck. I, I think it's just literally that simple. What do you think, Jackie boy? Yeah, so I'll make a comparison here and tell me this isn't just act 100% spot on. Dusko is he's Jordan Wright. He's the Beverly Hills Ninja. I mean, the guy is kill or be killed, gets hit. I mean, we've seen Jordan Wright get hit a ton. And Jordan Wright, he has like kind of the, the, the wrestling that he can go to, but he doesn't always go to it and he gets knocked out because of it. Dusko's the same way. He's got wrestling that he can go to, but he just would rather try and stand and bang. And we've seen him get in trouble with it before in the past. The guy gets hit and it gets chitty. That's the last thing you want somebody describing your fight style as somebody that gets hit because if Chitty, if Chitty hits you, you're going to sleep and you might not ever wake up. Uh, so Dusko, if he wants to win this fight, it's wrestling. But at the same time, I, I think it was against Batoli. His The first shot that he shot, he almost got caught in a guillotine. And that's kind of why Batoli lost that fight because he was able to, he pulled guillotine and then ended up on his back. He nearly got it. I mean, that thing was tight, but he lost the fight because he was on his back. If you're Chitty... No jujitsu. Don't play that stupid Chitty. pull. Tr if, don't play that stupid. Uh, you know, try to get a guillotine stuff end up on your back, and now you're in big trouble. S stuff the head, defend the takedown, get out of there, stay at range, and do what you do. You're gonna be able to hit Dusko. Just you know, stay away from the takedowns. Don't play that jujitsu game. Hit him with the ones twos. You're gonna have no issue. Uh, I'm going with Chitty all the way. It's Chitty. You're saying Chitty, like Chitty Bang Bang. Well, his nickname Bang. is, Ch his, that's literally his nickname, is Chitty Bang Bang. Well, it's Chitty, though. Well, I mean, that's his nickname, so don't no, don't talk to me. I didn't give him that nickname. Yeah, but but it's Chitty. But his nickname is Chitty Bang Bang. Okay. Which literally is, uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is one of the scariest movies ever made. That movie traumatized me as a kid. I think last time we had this conversation, you never yeah, seen it. Yeah, we did, I've and I still have it. The guy that's like dangling candy okay. in front of the kids and stuff. That's the most terrifying guy I've ever seen in my life. I've seen you offer children candy. Well, it's a very influential movie. Uh, $8,700 in DraftKings. He's probably worth it because I, I personally think there's a stoppage here and he could probably score over 100. <clears throat> I'm definitely Bless getting you. sick. I'm definitely getting sick. I'm sick of your bullshit.
<laughs> Holy water. Also, um, I streamed it. <laughs> I just streamed it. <laughs> um, the monkey knife fight strike line, I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it because Chidi's a low volume guy, has insane power. Uh, it's probably less, but I'm not going to touch the monkey knife fight strike line. What do you think? If you're not touching it, I'm not touching it. <laughs> Okay, for real, for real. I thought we just broke down a fight where you touched it. Anyway, if you feel strongly about this, go to weonpicks.com slash MKF. Sign up, make a deposit. They will instantly match that deposit. And if you want $50 for free, Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, 50 bucks, all you need to do is go to weonpicks.com slash bets and sign up with any one of our five betting partners and make a deposit. 